Hello and welcome all my beautiful art friends. Okay, so this week I'm really in the mood for an abstract and so I thought I would go ahead and start. I'm going to be doing this abstract in mixed media. So I'm going to be using some watercolors, some ink, Um, graphite maybe maybe we'll see I'm just going to use what it needs when it needs it I could go in with some colored pencils so right now I'm just going to wet my paper now I've already got the edges taped off. Okay. And I'm kind of really feeling this moon glow because I like how it does all kinds of various things. So and I really don't have anything in mind. I'm going to go into some of this. Uh, I'm just going to organically add some paint and see what, what we get. Because then I can go in and start to refine some things. And I'm feeling a lot of blue. A lot of blue. Now I'm going into my manganese. Oh, and I'm using my little travel palette that's got mostly Daniel Smith colors in here. Oh, more of this. I'm just really letting my paints do their thing. I like to call it do your thing. Do your dance. Okay, I think I'm going to go in with just a little bit of this color here. Purpley. Keeping the colors very friendly at this point. I mean, I'm not really, I, I really don't have any contrasting colors at this point. I'll put more of that down here. But this uh, moon glow tends to kind of be on the purple side itself, too. I'm going to go back into my ultramarine. Kind of just putting some waves of color in here. Now there's some things that I can do to add some texture in here. Um, I could put some, uh, oh, I kind of like that white coming through. I could put some saran wrap on it or some bubble wrap and let that Wow, I just had a huge mosquito eater fly at me. Sorry, I freaked out for a minute. But I think what I'm going to do is go ahead and just lay some salt in here in some areas. And I'm going to let that dry for a good while. So I'm going to keep this video in real time minus the dry time of course so I'll be back in a second all right so this has had plenty of time to dry um, I think I want to wet the whole thing so I'm gonna use my spray bottle for this 
Okay, and then I'm going to go in and darken a few areas. I'm going to go in with a little bit smaller brush. And I'm going to start with some of my Vela Blue. And I'm just going to go in areas that I feel like could use some depth. We'll make sure it's nice and wet because I really don't want my lines being hard here. And I'm just going to play. Some of these areas here. Like I said, keeping it keeping it soft. Let's that to soften out. Nice. I like how that salt made some really nice effects here. I like that. Okay. What I love about abstract is really you can't go wrong even though I know that in my brain I still find abstracts difficult and that's silly but it's true I still find them difficult at times I'm going to go into my quinacridone rose a bit here. Uh, let me come into my manganese too. Those mingle together. It's too much, too harsh there. Okay. And some areas I just, right there. I want to add a little bit of more of this moon glow. Absolutely. Moon glow has become one of my favorite colors. Just love the effects you get with it. Look, it needs something there. Maybe a little bit more depth of the Alright. Come back into this moon glow and darken up some of these. Here. I'm not really trying to Im imitate anything. I'm just coming in with what feels good. Trying to 
Get a little more depth in there. I gathered some other supplies while this was drying. So I've got some inks. I've got some glittery stuff and we're going to try and use a little bit of that. And right now I'm still just keeping these colors I want to call friendly. Okay, that's dried too much. Uh, friendly and harmonizing with each other here. Kind of look like clouds in a way, I guess, or stone. Organic. I like that. Organic. Okay. And some manganese coming in here. I don't want those lines there. All right. There we go. A little bit of depth in there. I like that. Something going on there that I don't want, so, okay. Yeah. I'll come in with some more ultramarine. And bring some depth in over here. Really trying to let the paint do a lot of the work. All right. I'm going to come back into my moon glow. That's a lot. Open up that if I want to here. Alright, I kind of want to see what that's going to do. Let's get some depth going in there. Some depth in here. Alright. Maybe a little bit more up in here. Hmm. There we go. Try and keep that soft. A little bit more of the ultramarine blue. I have to say, I've been impressed with this journal. Um, 
I'm probably going to do a comparison this journal with the uh, Pentallic journal that I uh, was using before to give you some thoughts on it, but I am I am impressed with it. This is the Bao Hong. It will be listed down in the uh, description with my other art supplies. Okay, I don't want to over mix it okay I'm gonna let this dry and then we're gonna start really adding I think I'm gonna add some ink so let's let this dry okay so this has had time to dry and I really think I'm ready to add some sparkle to it I think I'm gonna go in last with my ink but before I add some sparkle, I thought I would come in with some of my colored pencils. And I'm not sure if these are listed in my supplies or not. Um, but they're pretty good colored pencils. I use them mostly for like coloring books and things like that. So I prefer the woodless pencils myself, but that's a personal preference. It has nothing to do with the performance. Okay, what color is this? This it just says dark blue and I want to come in and just darken some areas even more just adding in some depth in here That's what I was saying. Just because it's an abstract does not mean you cannot achieve harmony and depth and composition in a piece. I really do like the organic feel of it. That's okay. Go over the top of some of that. Really a personal preference at this point of how much you want to add. I like to take my time and not feel like I'm being rushed or anything, you know. I like to put on some relaxing music and just... not overthink it. That's why I think I find abstracts a little bit difficult, especially when I was new to art. I would spend a lot of time overthinking it. But these pieces really Good exercises for just letting go, letting go and enjoying art for art. 
Like, trust me, there's times that I, I really do enjoy very detailed, very thought out work, but it doesn't always have to be that way. And I don't think you have to work in just one style. I think as an artist, we grow by trying different things. To each their own. You do you, boo. You do you. I like some of those organic lines streaming through here that I achieved there. So I'm going to add more of those little ghosty lines coming through here. We'll call them ghosty lines. Okay, I'm going to switch up the color. Well, I say that and then I was like, but I want some up there to harmonize it here. Okay, I'm going to grab... This is dark violet. And I'm going to just continue to organically. I'm not even... Holding it, just holding it very loosely, kind of like I do when I sketch sometimes. I keep it loosey loose. It is a skill learning to loosen up. I like that. Okay. Kind of something doesn't feel right here to me. I'm just gonna I feel like it needs a bridge. Needs a blending. Oh yeah, definitely. Humming helps. My stomach's growling. Oh, that was still wet, but isn't that neat? Where did my... All right. Like it's cool that it gets wet. You could just... That's what I love about the woodless is you really can utilize this whole thing. Like when I sharpen it, I sometimes use the little shavings, add water and you know, uh, kind of got a little bit of watercolor going on there. Uh, these aren't really watercolor pencils, but they are water soluble. They won't do quite as well as watercolor pencils, but you can still Get them to uh, soften out and blend sometimes with water. Okay, I feel like that is enough on the pencils that I've added even more depth in there. 
Now, since I've done that, I'm going to use some of these starry, they are called, they are called starry colors, um, but Kiritaki, they are the, they're the only Kiritaki that I have. I have not tried the other ones. And I have to say, I'm impressed with them. They, they, they really do do well. Okay, where's my little filbert? Here it is. Okay, I'm going to use this little filbert brush here. This would be such a beautiful contrasting color here. So where, I'm going to look at this piece and determine where do I want some focal points in it. Hmm. I'm thinking here might be good. These are going to run through it kind of like the veins in a rock. I like that. Okay. Let's come here with just a bit of it. I like that. I'll take a little bit of this lighter um I don't know it's the 905 color these don't really these just have numbers so but I would say it's in between the uh the gold and the white like a frosted color Come in here with some of that. It's a nice in-between color. It's got a lot of glitter to it too. Um, sometimes these you really can't tell until you get at a certain angle just how glittery or pigmented they are. Shiny. Okay. I'm locking that. I'm going to come back to this gold color. And bring just a little bit in here. Not, I don't want it going too far off, so I'm going to mix some of that with that. Looks like a little vein running through there. I like that. I do want to bring some of that over here. Just to give it a little bit of a harmony with the rest of the picture. 
sure. Do up here is a little bit empty, so I'm gonna come into this really pearl, pearlescent type. And bring in some of that. That blends nicely. All right. Here's some. See that salt made these little circles. I actually don't want to add too much of that. Boy, that gold is a beautiful color. But I'm not quite satisfied with it in here yet. I'm going to look at that at an angle. I will show y'all when I'm done so y'all can get a better look at that. Okay, now that I've, I feel like I've done enough of that that I want to bring in some inks. Actually, I take that back. I've got some of these, uh, sparkly um this is like a eyeshadow a little brush on the end i think that might be cool to drop in just in a few little places it's in my journal why not it doesn't it doesn't have to be a masterpiece This one, it really needs to be on a dryer. I like that. Okay. And this area here is kind of drawn to as my focal point. So I like that. Just like that. Right now, I think we'll give that just a minute to dry and bring in some, uh, some of my micron pens. Okay. So, this has had time to dry, and I think I'm going to break into my micron pins here. I've got a couple of them. I'm also probably going to use some highlights and maybe a ballpoint pen, because I really like my ballpoint pens. Okay. Let's see. And I'm just going to go in and start doing some, maybe some dots here and there. Doesn't have to make sense. Just has to feel right. I might come in and make some bubbles too um, again I'm keeping it loose
I think I will make some bubbles come in here. Just some quick little circles. Kind of gives it more of an organic feel. Find some different things. Wisps coming through. Some stippling. Stippling's great because if I'm not quite sure, I can always do a little bit of stippling to say, okay. I think I, I want to do something there. And just to have some fade out. Okay, now let me add in some highlights. What kind of highlights do I want to add in? I could do some dots. Here and there. I could do a whole section in dots. Well, the dots are going to draw. Let me move some of this. This is kind of in my way here. Okay. I can reach this much better. And the contrast here may be nice. Okay. Keeping that very organic. I like that. Okay. Yeah, I'm liking that. Is that dry? Yeah, it's dry. Just adds another bit of dimension to it. If 
again it added to that focal point there I think all right I'm just gonna keep working in some organic shapes and give you put up a shot of the finished product I sure hope you enjoyed this video um be sure to subscribe to keep up with future videos as I do post at least once a week um mostly watercolor content but obviously I do um all sorts of mixed media and painting anyway I'll see you in the next one Bye-bye.